Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Alaskan Malamute vs Siberian Husky. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. It can be difficult to distinguish between an Alaskan Malamute and a Siberian Husky. The puppies are remarkably alike. However, if you have narrowed down your options for a new dog to a Husky or Malamute puppy, you are in luck. We will contrast the advantages and disadvantages of a Malamute vs Husky puppy. Assisting you in selecting the ideal breed. When fully grown, both Husky and Malamute puppies are big, strong canines that can be difficult to manage but also make wonderful friends. Although they seem alike, Huskies are typically more sociable, smaller, and have a little edge in longevity. The Malamute, on the other hand, was first bred to carry hefty loads and is more devoted and protective. Today, we'll examine which of these adorable canines would fit your lifestyle the best. Do Husky and Malamute breeds look similar? The Siberian Husky and Alaskan Malamute are not interchangeable terms. They differ significantly from one another, and one of them may make a better pet for you than the other. When contrasting two dog breeds, it's impossible to say for sure which is superior. Whichever is best for you and your circumstances can be chosen, though. Siberian vs Alaskan Malamute Dogs Differences The Alaskan Malamute vs Siberian Husky argument pits two breeds against one another who have long coexisted with people in the workplace. Huskies are friendlier, lighter, and more independent than the larger, more attractive, and highly devoted Malamute. Although it could be difficult to choose, there are a lot of differences between these seemingly identical dogs. Because of these variations, one might be a better fit for your house than the other. In addition, Huskies typically live a little longer and exhibit fewer guarding behaviors. However, this does not necessarily imply that they will make better pets for you. It's not simple to choose between an Alaskan Malamute and a Siberian Husky for your future puppy. Which will suit you the best? Are Huskies and Malamutes related? Malamutes and Huskies are not related, even though it is understandable why some might think so. The Chukchi people of eastern Siberia were the first to domesticate the Husky. The Malamute comes from Alaska, in contrast. Both breeds have a lengthy history of working as sled dogs. The Husky was bred to race, but the Malamute was intended to haul weight. The Husky would work in a team of dogs, whereas the Malamute would typically work alone. Although coming from comparable circumstances, they had very distinct goals. Husky vs Malamute Size The Alaskan Malamute and Siberian Husky differ significantly in size. The typical Malamute is enormous. A mature Malamute would appear relatively petite next to a huge Siberian Husky. In adulthood, the Alaskan Malamute will weigh between 75 and 85 pounds. The large Husky breed, however, weighs only 35 to 60 pounds when fully grown. The smallest Malamute will always be larger than the biggest Husky. Husky vs Malamute Eyes The eyes of an Alaskan Malamute and a Siberian Husky are different shades. Huskies are perhaps most known for their stunning blue eyes. Huskies can have eyes of two different colors, did you know that? Brown eyes are typical for Malamutes. Darker eyes are preferred by breeders for Malamutes. Difference between Alaskan Malamute and Siberian Husky Coats The black and white coat of Siberian Huskies is undoubtedly their most distinctive feature. However, this breed is available in a wide range of hues, including sable, agouti, copper, and red. On the other hand, come in a variety of colors, including gray, sable, solid white, seal, red, and black. Malamute vs Siberian Husky Grooming These two canines' grooming requirements are quite similar. To manage shed hair, regular brushing and grooming are essential. Moreover, to maintain the health of their coat and skin. Both dogs will gain from routine ear cleanings and nail trimmings. Husky and Alaskan Malamute differences in shedding. It's crucial to understand how certain breeds shed differently. It demonstrates how much time you'll need to spend cleaning your home of fur. Both dogs have a double-layered coat that is dense. With the seasons, this will blow out twice a year. Additionally, the coat sheds all year long. So, to keep shed hair under control, both breeds will require routine brushing. For folks who don't want to spend time washing and grooming fur, they aren't the ideal option. Siberian vs Alaskan Malamute Personalities Most of the time, there isn't much of a temperamental difference. 
These puppies were developed to live and operate in human and canine groups. With their folks, they are reputed to be gregarious and amiable. The Malamute, however, will be more reserved with strangers. They also exhibit reduced tolerance for other animals, such as dogs. The Husky is more likely to be outgoing and get along with other family pets. Difference between Husky and Malamute guarding tendencies. Concerns about guarding tendencies are common among parents. The distinction is particularly crucial if you're picking a dog for your kids. Siberian Husky temperament is generally more controversial than Malamute temperament. The Alaskan Malamute tends to be aggressive. Along with this, they have a strong desire to hunt and little tolerance for other canines. The Siberian Husky likewise exhibits a strong prey drive. They are frequently viewed as being too outgoing and sociable to make ideal security dogs. Siberian Husky and Alaskan Malamute Health The Malamute and Husky are equally susceptible to health problems, like any dogs. Problems with Alaskan Malamutes The following conditions are common in Alaskan Malamutes. Dysplasia of the hip and elbow, chondrodysplasia, dwarfism, polyneuropathy, von Willebrand's disease, thyroid dysfunction, day blindness. Problems with Siberian Huskies. The following conditions can affect Siberian Huskies. Hip dysplasia, thyroid disease, juvenile cataracts, corneal dystrophy, and progressive retinal atrophy. Siberian Husky or Alaskan Malamute Health Testing. The Alaskan Malamute Club currently mandates that member test parent dogs for polyneuropathy, hip problems, and eye problems. They also advise getting tests for thyroid, heart, and elbow problems. Currently, the Siberian Husky Club mandates that participating breeders screen parent dogs for hip dysplasia and eye problems once a year. So, health exams are required for both Huskies and Malamutes. Husky vs. Malamute puppies as pets. For both children and dogs, supervision and training are essential. Even with the right supervision and training, the Husky is probably a better option for a home with small children or frequently visiting family members when compared to the Malamute dog as a family pet. Siberian vs. Alaskan Malamute Fun Facts Huskies have always featured in our tales and our films. We see a lot of these unusual canines, from White Fang the Fearless Husky to Misha the Talking Husky on YouTube. One Husky tale that may have slipped your mind was the one involving Balto, Togo, and Fritz. These three dogs covered a cumulative distance of 1,000 kilometers while pulling sleds filled with life-saving medication. Many Inuit children would have perished from diphtheria if they hadn't existed. The Basic Similarities These two breeds have much more in common than they have differences. Some of the basic similarities of Alaskan Malamutes and Siberian Huskies include. Both are very energetic dogs. Both can get destructive if not paid attention. Both have many health issues in common. Both have the same shedding time every year. Both are mostly from Alaska. Both are highly adorable. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching us.